Hi and welcome to Hotfix 17.6.1. What is the point of this? Well, I wasn't going to cover this, but there is actually some pretty useful stuff in this. There is a lot of changes to the uh, conclave here, as usual, because there wasn't any in 17.6 itself, so that's come out in the Hotfix. The main thing, though, in this, which, if I, uh, well, I did, uh, do I have a screenshot? If I do, I'll put it up, but I don't know if I actually did that or not. The Kubro, the collar, is finally usable. And this is going to be completely daft of me to do, but whatever. It wasn't usable before. It was a complete waste of time. Because it adds 10 shields and 15 health. That's it. And it's on Tower 4 Exterminate for one of the parts, which is pretty hard to get keys for and now after this update it has a hundred armor so now this thing might actually be usable the one thing I can't find is it actually states Samaris's active synthesis target will now show its progress in the landing crafts world state window um syndicate codex Marketplace, Conclave, News, is it in here? It has to be in here somewhere, but, um, nope, I can't see it anywhere. Am I missing something here? Is there something that I'm clearly missing, or... What the hell is the world state window? It's not in the pause menu. Navigation just takes you back to this thing, because that's the navigation. Hence it says navigation. Um, landing craft? No. I've looked all over. I even turned the scanner thing back on, and there's nothing on there, so... Really, I should have read the second line for this. Uh, to get the actual thing to show up, what you're supposed to do is come to the relay, uh, run, run all the way to the back, and speak to Samaris. If I had my Bratton Vandal, I would be able to do this. But I have been in here several times now, and I cannot find a way to accept him, or the thing that he has, apart from how is it progressing, and there's nothing there. It just says, do not disappoint me, I require more synthesis, depends on your action, not as on for a bit. You kind of wish you would shut up, and yeah. Don't want to do that. There's no other thing here to accept, just what is synthesis, which is the tutorial for it. But it's still not showing up. Is it over here? Nope. Hmm. See? Still not coming up here, but it's supposed to show up up here once you've actually accepted it. I just have to assume that it's the 10 scans that will show up here, and because you, I have the 10 done, until the new target arrives, I can't really demonstrate that one that well. Oh, I thought I went back to the Lisette. It, what? Why'd you bring me here? Okay, actually, this thing, the air support, will now disable nearby cameras and it will pause any time at spy and rescue missions uh, while the beacon is actually up. So that's going to be, now that's just made the normal Lisette much easier and, well, easier, much better than the Mantis. But the biggie for this is also the fact that, and I can actually mention this now, uh, yeah, this guy was a huge troll. Because what people would do is pretty much that, and you couldn't get through. Well, guess what? Haha, -ha, you can now. Actually, that's in completely the wrong place because it was literally people putting it up in the middle of the door so you couldn't get through it and it was annoying a lot of people well now it's yeah you can go through it they can't so the trolling possibility for this is now gone 
I still don't see why they wouldn't just make it so that when the door closes, it gets destroyed. But of course, you can still launch the damn thing, but it will instantly get destroyed in here. So, doing this is no longer trolling people. But it will stop the enemies from actually coming through, which is great. Because even though I didn't have it done to me, I have heard lots of people complaining about this. So, DE did say that we're going to do something pretty quickly to try and solve the problem. Ah, that's a little bit better placed. I mean, as you can imagine, the corpus doors being square, that was a problem. There is also a fix, finally, for the Fluctus not dealing damage. It actually says not doing any damage to G3 Gollum. So shooting him with this weapon, yeah, another reason I have never really gone back to using this weapon, I guess, because it did no damage, which is a bit of a shame. The electrical damage from J3 Gollum himself will actually target the closest player now. So the closest player to him will be targeted, which is actually pretty nice, because I just assumed it did that beforehand anyway. <laughs> the panels are also supposed to flicker, and I did that on purpose, because this should now pause the timer. That did not pause the timer. Thank you very much, Ordus. You are completely useless. Oh no, no, it still hasn't paused the timer. No, there it is. It finally paused. And I'm actually stuck in a perpetual state of knockdown. Um, um, yeah. Nice of it to actually say that that's what I'm supposed to be getting here. So, yeah. Ordus. It's still pretty useless. <laughs> you hack the terminals, but you'll take a long time to actually do it. And it's not that effective, because he still doesn't hack uh, turrets. He's supposed to be in control of the ship, hence all the consoles are black. But it just does not work that well, because the turret behind me is still attacking me. Stop it. Still in control? Supposed to be. Oh well. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.